hello welcome back to another video with the sc base i know it's been quite a long time since you know uh i sat down to you know to you know, talk to you guys story time i would say so if you're new here and today happens to be the first time you be on this channel we would love you to stay so kindly join our positive and happy family here by hitting the subscription button and uh, if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for you know tuning in today to joining us in another video we say god bless you for tuning in today now as you've read from the title it's a life update it's a day in a life as a mom tuber hello ma Ciao. that was my mom by the way so what's going on so uh basically uh mr mr d i would say so baby d turned nine months on sunday which is part today's wait, today's tuesday or wednesday yeah i think today is tuesday literally thank god for his life yeah he's been a very healthy baby he's been eating well he eats everything and i'm glad that he even eats african food without saying nah bleh, i don't like it he eats everything and i'm glad because you know uh it's not every baby that would eat everything and uh seeing your baby eating very well and healthy that's a a, a, a plus for a mom so yeah i'm very happy about that at the moment he's got hay fever yeah we just returned back from the doctor and uh yeah we've been uh giving puritan puritan is uh uh good for hay fever and uh, i think it's good for symptoms like skin allergies food allergies pets house uh, dust uh, and it's also good for insect bites and itchiness and rash of chicken pox so yeah this is good i've i've been taking this myself ever since i stepped foot in the uk anytime i have a fever i mean that's what i take because i tend to have itchy uh you know skin in the hay fever season i would say <laughs> it's not a good thing i don't like it i wish i never had it but yeah it is what it is so this is what they uh they prescribed for him to you know take uh it says here yeah, from one year going but the doctor is saying it's also good for him he's nine months he's almost one year so i don't know but he said this is going to let his safe fever go down because he's been struggling to sleep yeah he breathes normal but um he's got this noise when he's sleeping and he keeps on itching his ears and making sound from his throat like To what I know, we adults tend to do that. But for a baby, a nine months old baby to be doing that, that's quite strange. <laughs> In fact, the doctor was literally laughing today when I explained it to him that he's been itching his ears and making this say, he does and I'm like, these uh, pandemic babies are just, they look old, I would say. It looks like they've, our great, great, great grandparents have been reborn again. I don't know. But anyway, that's just by the way. But uh, yeah, he's healthy. He's okay. You know, he checked him and everything is fine. Apart from the father, he's been having this cold and his hay fever, literally. So mom and son are having hay fever at the moment. Well, literally dad got it and then he passed it to me and then I've passed it to my baby. So we had a hay fever. <laughs> hay fever family. That's not a good thing to say, but anyway, decided to go back to work. I should have started uh, this month, so we are in June. Yeah, I should have started 1st of June, but unfortunately, I have decided to take three months off in addition. Uh, something new that I'm doing right now is uh, I am trying my best. Yes, I've been saying this all this time. I need to do my driving, to do my driving. I say it all the time, but I don't do it. But uh, I've started, you know, uh, the theory at home and uh, I have booked for it. I can't say when I'm going to do it. It's in the process, I'm learning, I'm doing it, you know. I'm going to do it. And I'm doing it for myself and also for my baby because I want to return back to work, God willing, by driving because I, you know, sort of think I'm going to take the bus or the tram. Well, the tram is faster, 
but uh, there are times that the tram will not work. We are in Manchester, anything can happen. Oh, today the trains are not working. Oh, today the tram is not working. So literally, I thought otherwise, like, I have to do this driving thing, yeah. Even though it will cost me to do it twice or three or 50 times for me to, you know, get these lines as I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm a go-getter, so I'll do it until I get it. So, yeah. So you guys should pray for me. Remember me in your prayers when you are praying. <laughs> I'm glad that this year... Um, so far so good we are in month six of the year in it so we are in june so it's the sixth month of the month of the year and uh, so far i can only say that i'm grateful i'm thankful and i'm blessed you know i always say that so far as you wake up you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning breathing the same air that each and every one of you is breathing that's a plus yeah and uh, we need to give thanks to god for that because he deserves it without him i don't think you guys would see me and i would have and i would see you guys also so i always pray to god that you know you guys would uh i always pray to god that god will keep us safe including yourself and I hope you all are doing well. I mean, mental health is a very important topic. I know when it comes to that, especially in our African community, it's quite difficult to, you know, talk about that because once you talk about the people think that, oh, yeah, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but they don't really take it serious. And uh, I wouldn't say I'm depressed. I'm not depressed. But I'll just say that, yeah, I was depressed after I had my baby because there were some, I thought everything was, my world was coming to an end. And I spoke to a couple of people, um, yeah. But uh, at the moment, I, I would say that um, I'm, you know, I'm not getting any help from any professional, you know, uh, person. But uh, what I'm trying, what I've taught myself to do at the moment is to get myself literally busy and when i say that i don't mean by you know uh cooking or yeah i love cooking but yeah there are other things that i've you know added to my routine apart from being with my baby and obviously being a wife you know cooking and making sure that the house is okay and uh, my husband is fine including my baby uh one thing i've included into my daily routine is to you know uh listen to more of music I already love music but um i think music makes me feel good it makes me feel okay uh when i'm sad when i'm happy you know and um let's just say that you know uh i'm not i'm not going to settle for less there are some things and things that have happened so many times in my life and uh, it keeps on happening not that i can see it i can see it but um sometimes you know you just this is how you were created this is how you were you know you've been old as well and you can change some things because this is who i am but um i think i've come to that point in my life that i'm like no i need to make a change even though i don't feel okay by doing so because this is just me as i said but i have to do it because that will make me uh, okay, anything that is going to cost my peace, mm, that means that thing is very, is too expensive and uh, my peace of mind is very important. Anything that is going, I'm, I'm not uh, in for any drama, any negativity or, you know, and I'm done chasing uh, people because... I think when when you are being too good or when uh you are there for people sometimes they take it for granted that's how i've seen it so far because over the past years let's say uh counting from the time i came from italy to he to now it's almost nine nine years or so or getting to 10 years i would say and things have all uh, it has always been the same you know you you tend to be always there for people and some people take you for granted some also they don't take you for granted but um i don't know how to put it but let's just say that being in my 31 year has really taught me a lot and uh it's time for a change and i think we gotta do it so yeah and i think that's what i think is best for me so i hope it works 
you know other than that yeah my mom was supposed to come you heard me talking to her but she's not coming anymore because she's got some stuff to do my dad and my sister is coming around i'm gonna show you guys when they enter into the house yeah but uh yeah someone is also crying here yeah, he wants me to pick him up amore what's up what's up what's up what's up um what's up but yeah i am so glad and i'm so happy uh one thing that i'm also happy about is the fact that uh baby d has been able to meet other babies as well know each other <laughs> small boys are young anyway <laughs> but i'm so glad that at least they get to meet other babies and you know be be friends and be uh you know create that brotherhood and uh you know uh friendship and i'm glad uh, he's been able to meet other babies he's a happy boy and he's very kind and very you know adorable he's not uh, a reserved type of person so he likes people just like his mom but his mom said he's going to change that because so many times i've gotten my tr myself into trouble because of this you know uh loving people is a is a very is a good thing but i think when you over love people they tend to take it for granted so i need to change things and i think i'm ready to do that yeah mm -hmm. and uh yeah that's just all for now i need to unbox uh boohoo and then sheen i've got a lot of stuff from sheen that i need to unbox but yeah this is all for today i just wanted to give you an update on you know motherhood what is going on now as i said baby d is eating well he's eating every food every african food my mom is calling again look at who is here look at her face hey twin hey see how fat she has become her all right so that's what i was saying my sister and my dad are here you don't know her that's her wait this off girl don't care no same same why are you looking at me like that i need to you know prepare something for my dad to eat but um yeah that's all for today i think in a separate video i'll do a sister tag so you guys will get to know you guys will get to know my sister but for now rebecca stop for now it's bye ciao make sure you like the video share the video and subscribe we love you it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We love you. Keep spreading love and keep spreading peace. Ciao.